What's the awful racket? Can you shut up, please? Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? Do you do requests? Certainly not. I'm a professional musician. You could have fooled me. What's that supposed to mean? What I heard didn't sound too musical to me. I see, old chap. I bid you good day. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? You can't. I'm just passing through. Oh. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be. Excuse me. You're not the regular person. He's sick. No. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to the popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the food. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action instead. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice.
Okay, you've made... Ahem. Look, can't you see I'm busy? I'll go and get the biggest gruff brother. I shall not... I shall not be moved. You've got no right to do this. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation until I get a goat to eat. No one may cross the bridge. Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a really tough customer, you know. Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then... You're scared of a billy goat? This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long and horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. Fine. I'll go get some goat for you, okay? Okay. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? It's a magic whistle. Magic, eh? Give it here. Huh. That did a lot. Now where were we? Oh yeah. I was just going to suggest eating you in. Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty ho. Oh, king. You've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow. What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. It says, Equal Rights for Trolls on it. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What I don't know about magic ain't worth knowing. Why aren't my beans growing then? Eh? I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I'll have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit.
There are still some beans left in the puddle. It's a shiny metal bell. What the hell do you want? I've come to rescue you. Who put the lights out? It's a very imposing door. There's no handle. It's peroxide blonde. 